Good morning, Facebook family. I am the Bliss Doctor here at Millette Enterprises, where we help you find your bliss. I have a, a topic today I'd like to share with you. Um, I think it's an interesting topic. It's called Love the One You're With. And what do you think that really, really means? Love the one you're with. There are many songs made about it. People uh, talk about staying in a relationship that they're already in and maybe unhappy. But I really want you to love the one you're with. Hello, Bernard. Thanks for joining this morning. Learn to love the one you're with. Now, who is the one you're with? Who is the one you can't get away from? My daddy told me, wherever you go, there you are. So that's the one you need to learn to love is yourself. Put yourself first. Be kind to yourself. Oftentimes, we're more kind to strangers than we are to other people. But learning how to love the one you're with. You know how you show kindness to others when they fail and you encourage them to get back up and you say, hang in there and uh, give it another try? Be kind to yourself. When you fail or, or, or when you uh, don't succeed at something, be kind to yourself. Don't tell yourself, oh, you know, you didn't have the skills or capabilities and you ain't no good and you ain't never going to get it right. Be kind to yourself. Speak loving words to yourself. Encourage yourself. You know, um, the, uh, I, I often refer to many uh, uh, biblical passages uh, and one of them is, is when, when, when um, the scripture says David encouraged himself in the Lord. So you have to encourage yourself. You have to speak loving thoughts to yourself. When you learn how to talk straight, David, to yourself, not talk down to yourself, not beat yourself up for things in the past or things you've allowed. A funny thing about it, when you learn how to treat yourself right, People see in you how you need to be treated. When you always put yourself last, you show people that you don't matter, that your feelings don't count. Putting yourself last sets a bad precedent. And you wonder why people keep stepping on you and people keep mistreating you. After all I've done for others, and don't they see what I'm doing? Yeah, they see what they're doing. They, they see what you're doing for them, but they see what you're doing to yourself and they think that's the way you deserve to be treated. Oftentimes, we wonder about what others think about us. And that governs so much of what we do. That governs how we show up outside of the house. That governs how we show up on Facebook. We're worried about how we look in these pictures and these videos. I'm not saying those things aren't important. But what other people think is none of your business. You need to let that go. Be you. Be all of you. Oftentimes, people pigeonhole us because of the way they have come to know us or thing they've learned about us. Allow yourself to expand and be all of you. I'm a very eclectic person. I have different tastes in music. I have different tastes in hobbies and activities. I have different tastes in, 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 the, in the literature and books that I read. And I'm, I'm not going to allow a person to pigeonhole me into one political view, into one religious observance. I have a, a, a universal view of people and of love. And, and that's what I choose to be, regardless of what other people think about me. I, of course, we all want people to think well of us. But when we allow our actions to be governed by what we think other people think, we talked about this early. Most of the time, people ain't even thinking about you. They worried about the, the mess going on in their lives. So be good to you. Love the one you're with. You can't ever get away from you. Wherever you show up, there you are. Talk straight to yourself. Talk loving, kind words. Forgiving words. Forgive yourself. Thanks, Alma, for, for, for joining in this morning. Speak those things that produce peace and joy in your life. There are many things going on around you, but as I always say, gratitude, thankfulness pulls you into the present, pulls you into a space of peace, pulls you in a space to where you can receive the very best 
that this world has to offer. Be thankful. Encourage yourself on a regular basis. Because there are many people that will tell you what you're not. They'll tell you what you're not doing. They will often tell you, you know, many things to discourage you and to dissuade you. Understand that there's greatness within you. And there's nothing wrong with believing that there's greatness in you. There's greatness in everyone. Just many haven't un uncovered it. And as you uncover it and you learn to walk in yourself and love yourself, love the one you're with, be kind, be generous, treat yourself, treat yourself to something that you really enjoy. And don't feel guilty about it. Some people may feel guilty if, if, if they treat themselves to a massage. Oh, I could have used that money to do something else. But be kind to yourself. Do what you need to do. Do what you love to do. I am the Bliss Doctor, helping you find your bliss here at Millette Enterprises. Stop by my website, myblisstopia.com, and join us. Drop your comments. We'd love for you to ask questions. We'd love for you to tell us how uh, these words have, have affected you and, and, and helped your life. Um, drop us a line. Let us know how you're doing. Let us know what you're thinking. We love you and we thank you for, for, for showing up here. We, and, and we appreciate you for showing up in your life. Be the you you were meant to be. Love the one you're with. I am the Bliss Doctor. Namaste.